Hi guys, I'm Lissa. I just wanted to say a little word. Um, I've been thinking a lot about what's been happening and uh, having conversations at work um, about when to go return to the office. Again, I'm in New York. Um, and when to start preparing for what we have to do. I'm sorry, I don't know where to look in the camera. I think it's this way. Anyway, and you know, we always have to have a plan, of course, to return. Are the buildings safe to enter? Are there um, cleaning stations? Are we gonna be safe? Are they providing masks? Sorry if I'm, again, my eyes keep moving. Um, but, and I started to think really about what this meant. I, I, I truly don't know what the plan is, what God's plan is for us in, in this. I should hope, and I really hope that it's that people learn from it. Um, people that, don't know God or don't know how to handle this that maybe try him out because um, it's the only way to get through this and through anything especially we are losing people I mean people are dying every day a lots of people in New York and the numbers are so high that it kind of scares me not kind of it really does and to know that the people that have lost family members they can't say their goodbyes they can't bury them properly I mean that's I can't even imagine having to bury a parent, a child, or anyone close to you, not being able to bury them properly. Uh, I, I can't even go there um, in my thoughts, but um, God will help you through it. And that's where my faith would go and my hope would go that God would help me through it. Um, so this is a, a really scary time. Um, I really, guys, put on your masks. Put on your mask, protect yourself, and protect me. I don't want to get sick. I don't. I don't want to get sick. I want to live. I want to be happy. I want to do good things. I want to do amazing things. I want to bring joy. I think the word comes up backwards on the camera. I don't know. Anyway, I choose joy. So let's let's protect ourselves, guys, and all these people putting themselves in harm's way. The medical professionals. Um, my sister's a nurse, you know. Um, she has to help and be there and... Uh, it's their job, yes, but it's not fair that they get compromised because of our stupidity too. But um, yeah, we just don't know who carries that germ. They may be healthy. We don't know just because they're not sick. You don't you don't know if they are or not. Um, so don't take a chance. Let's be safe. Um, I would like to go back to work, even though I love working from home. Um, but um, yeah, it's not fun every day uh, not having that interaction with people. It's not normal. It's not, it's not a no normal behavior for humans. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's try to help each other with this. And if you know someone who's sick and, and, and we'll pray for you and let us know. Um, I attend the ICC New Dorp, International Christian Center of New Dorp, um, Pastor Eric Webb and Beth Webb, Pastor um, Beth Webb as well. And uh, you know, I've been attending their services on Sunday and um, I believe it's Thursdays as well. I also watch my brother who's in Puerto Rico. This is why I'll take advantage of this time being home. Um, he's a pastor and he films uh, tonight actually at 7.30. He'll be filming from Puerto Rico. And on Sundays, I watch him at 11 after my service. Um, so I just kind of wanted to get on here and uh, I felt it in my heart. My, my, my sister texted me. She said, there's time for a video. So, um, you know, when God speaks, I listen. And so this is the video and just wanted to encourage people. I wanted to read a couple of favorite verses. I'm so sorry that I'm looking several ways, but I think it's this way. Okay, let's go. Some of my favorite verses. Um, he made us and we are his. We're his guys. We're his people, the sheep of his pasture. Psalm 103. Be strong and courageous for the Lord your God, the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. Give your burdens to the Lord and he'll take care of you. Psalms 50, 55 22. It appears I forgot how to read. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Romans 12 12. That's another hope that a lot of people learn from this that we learn to um, help others, people that we wouldn't ordinarily help but for whatever reason. Um, sorry. We can do that. Um, let's get together. We did this. New York has been through quite a lot. 9-11, um, we hung in there. Everybody stuck together. We got through it. 
Um, Sandy, the Hurricane Sandy affected Staten Island greatly, Long Island. Um, a lot of people lost their homes and it was not a good good time, not good fun. Um, but this year, 2020, for some reason, is, is going off to a, a bad start. I mean, this is affecting the world. This is scary. Like, let's have some respect for this virus. It is scary. Um, the world. Like, I think about those places um, that don't really know God and um, are they calling him? I don't know how this is working out. I can only hope that they do. Um, and all the people that have lost, all, all the people that have lost their lives that may not have known God, um, I hope they're saved. I hope that they call to, to Jesus at the end and re recognize him as their savior. Um, anyway, it is not about preaching. I'm not a preacher, but I just wanted to kind of give a word of inspiration. So I choose joy and hope you all do too. And we're in this together. So let's do this together. All right. So God bless. Have a good day.